So we got a call from one of our clients this past week who wanted to cancel their business insurance. And it wasn't because they were unhappy with us or any, any negative feelings of any kind. They wanted to cancel their business insurance because they were done with their jobs and didn't have any other contracts on the horizon. Thought it'd be a great way to save some cash. We're gonna talk about the simple question of when can I cancel my business insurance right after this. Hey folks, James Jenkins here. I am the Chief Risk Officer of Risk Well. If you like the videos you see from us, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, click a like, and maybe even share this video if you want someone else to know what you know. So when can you cancel your business insurance policy? It's a totally valid question. The guy that called last week, he's a contractor, does a, a lot of uh, general contractor, remodeling, you know, repair type work, uh, both for outside clients and for his own flips and stuff. And he wanted to cancel his general liability policy. And I simply said, now hold on a second, have you uh, anything else on, on the horizon? He said, no, I don't. And I said, well, great. So you don't really have any ongoing operations, but you do have completed operations, right? You'd still like to have coverage for that job you did six months ago in someone else's house, maybe installing some cabinets, maybe doing uh, some renovation work, carpentry in their home. You want coverage for that still, right? And he said, well, yeah, of course I do. Well, my response is, well, then you need to keep your business insurance. There's one very particular reason why even if you're no longer currently doing jobs, you want to keep that general liability policy in place, and that is because of products and completed operations coverage. Everybody knows that general liability insurance is covering you from ongoing um, incidents, accidents, injuries, third-party property damage. Everybody just knows that's what general liability insurance is for. What you may not know is it also includes an element of completed operations coverage. What does that mean exactly? Well, let's just pull back the curtain for just a second. There are two kinds of policy coverage forms. The first is occurrence form and the second is claims made. With claims made coverage, both the incident, the date of loss, and the date of claim have to occur within the policy period. On an occurrence form, it's better. It's easier to get coverage because only the actual event, the occurrence that triggered the loss has to happen inside the policy term. The claim itself can happen after the policy term. Now here's the problem. When you cancel your policy, well, that's the end of the policy term. And that means you lose your completed operations coverage. So if something happens after the policy term, you don't have any completed operations coverage. And that's what I told our client. And that's why he's keeping his business insurance in place because the statute of limitations in your state, whatever it is, in Texas, I think it's either two or three years. I don't know off the top of my head because I'm not an attorney, I'm a risk manager, um, but I'm gonna go look it up after this. So I'll know that for the next video that we do. If you cancel your business insurance, you lose your completed operations coverage and you become exposed to any new occurrences from completed work going back as far as your state's statute of limitations goes. So long story short, even if you're not currently taking jobs, even if you don't have any contracts on the horizon, it's a really good idea to keep that business insurance in place, specifically general liability insurance. Some carriers offer what's called tail coverage, and that is basically only completed operations coverage where no new ongoing uh, operations. Check with your agent or broker to see if tail coverage is available uh, for your type of business for the kind of coverage that you're looking for. And that's really all there is to it, folks. Love to have a conversation with you on this topic. Uh, when can I cancel my business insurance or anything else? Your questions, comments, feedback, go ahead and drop it in the comments below. I'd love to talk with you soon. And please remember, boys and girls, Life is risky. Risk well.